Congratulations, Jalen. Thank you, thank you. Nicely done. Questions for Jalen? First question, Jalen, is from John Corrales. Jalen, just your overall experience here from the three-point contest to getting into a rhythm here in, the, in your first ever All-Star game, just what was this entire night like for you? Uh, it was fun, man. Uh, that's what it was about. It was fun. Uh, first experience here in the hometown, um, and I couldn't ask for nothing more, man. It was, yeah, I had a great time. Gary Washburn. Jalen, was there any jitters uh, for the when you got out there for the three point contest, and did you get those out? And did that help you become more comfortable during the during the game itself? Uh, a little bit, uh, for sure. Um, I didn't get a, a, the start that I wanted to the uh, three point contest. And I didn't uh, hear them say go, um, but definitely when I got to the game, I felt a lot more comfortable for sure. Alex Glaze. Hey guys, can I can I get permission to report first? But uh, Jalen, uh, you know, just the talk going into the game, you know, was just how different the energy was feeling, you know, surrounding the weekend, you know, with everything being so different. Just did it feel different when you were playing? Uh, could you feel energy? Just what was that feeling like uh, throughout the career? Um, to be honest, I felt nothing. Uh, it's just playing a game that I love to play, you know. Um, and you just get out there and you just have fun. Um, you got you on the floor with some of the best players. You on the floor with some of the best players to ever play. Um, so you know that's fun for me. I, I, I like that. And I appreciate it. Mark D'Amico. Hey, Jeff. I got two questions for you. I asked them one at a time. But first and foremost, you just mentioned playing on the same team as some of the best players to ever play the game, LeBron, Steph. What was that experience like for you to be on the same team as those guys? Um, it felt good. Um, when I when I got hot there, um, you know, Steph was like um, the main person that was like cheering me on, and I shot one from the logo. And it didn't go in, but Steph said he liked it. So I was like, man, I thought I was you for a second, and he started laughing and stuff like that. So being able to, to have back and forth, you know, dialogues with those guys, and I was, you know, talking to LeBron a lot, oh, sitting on the bench, and, you know, asking him questions, just, you know, probably being annoying, but you know, learning some, trying to pick up some information, some knowledge. And then secondly, um, I guess you got bragging rights on Jason the rest of the season? Yeah, we got the win, you know. Uh, we definitely got the win. Uh, he fouled me when he was on me. You know, we knew how that was going to go. So uh, I'll take the win. We, we got a nice cash prize, too. I don't know if it's for charity or whatever, but, you know, Jason fouled me, of course. Ethan Fuller. Hey, Jalen. Uh, my question is. Appreciate you, Jay. Hey, Jalen. My question for you um, was there anything about the procedure of the All Star game or being on the court that was different from what you expected for it being your first time out there? Nah, I didn't ask that question early. You know, nah, I couldn't expect anything more, anything less. Like, you know, it was just fine to be out there, you know, playing with some of the best players on the court in, uh, in my hometown. Uh, it was great. Gary Washburn. Hey, Jalen. I'm in. Ah, you see, dog. Already, you see. Jalen, to have your family there courtside, and uh, how, how much that mean to you for your mom to watch you play here, especially you've mentioned obviously being home, but to have your family with you, how much did that mean to you? Uh, it is too. <laughs> this guy. Uh, it was it was great, you know, uh, having my mom, my brother there. I got fouled in the three, and my brother, you know, came and picked me up. And I know that's something my family is going to, you know, that moment right there, and we never going to forget. Because, like, when, when a family member fall down, you got to be there and pick them up. My brother ran on the court and, and picked me up. That was great. And then my grandpa being there. Um, you know, cancer survivor, you know, COVID um, survivor. Um, so, so having him at the All Star game and my trainer uh, to see his work, you know, on the court, I know that was a good moment. So that was a great family moment for us. And uh, the first one was a great experience. Appreciate it. All right, I'll you Final question, Jalen, is from John Corrales. 
Kaylin, you always talk about your confidence is always sky high, but you know, being in this situation like you're talking about, being able to pick brains and you know, being you know next next to some of these players that you you've grown up watching, does this give you a feeling of like you belong? Uh, for sure. Um, I've always had the feeling like I belong. But to be honest, to watch some of these guys up close is unbelievable. Steph and Dame, I know they didn't win the MVP, um, but some of the stuff they was doing out there is unreal. Um, shooting from the logo with that much ease and the skill level, it just makes me so much hungry to get in the gym um, and we'll continue to work on my game. Like, Jesus Christ, these dudes are like, extremely talented and extremely good at the game of basketball, and I still have a long way to go. Um, I'm appreciating this moment and journey that we've came this far, but this is just the beginning for me. So I'm looking forward to to continue to work and add stuff to my game every single year. We'll wrap it up right there. Congratulations, Jalen. Safe travels home.